What is the total debt of the unit government map? 157 lakh crore. A humongous figure. They are trying to blame the state government, sir. Madam, now I am coming from Kerala. See, the Kerala social indices are at par with the Western countries. What is this economy, madam? Economy is for the society, for the people. Is it just because you want to stack some cash in your house? Is that economy? No. The welfare of the people. The average lifespan of a Malayali is more than 12 years of that state from Raghesh Sinha or other states. What is the meaning of that? We live more than those people who are in the north. Madam, I will just come to another topic. Madam, I want your protection. It's a very serious matter. Now, the point is that we are, we, we are being penalized. You know what is the new slogan? The Prime Minister was harping about cooperative federalism. <laughs> It's not cooperative federalism, madam. This is crony federalism. You know why? See, 18% of the population, South India, we contribute 35% of the GDP. We are being penalized for the performance. You mop up so much of resources through surcharges, 7 lakh crore in a year. Then you bring centrally sponsored scheme, which cannot be implemented in state like Kerala because we have crossed the threshold. You want us to open schools. We have already schools there. Madam, please give me. You have been liberal to everybody. Now, now what is happening? Now, there's a strange phenomenon. Somebody was talking about selfie corners in higher education institute. You want to add everywhere? Now, one more thing, madam. They are contributing one-fifth for the housing scheme, whereas three-fourth is being contributed by state of Kerala. They want to brand the houses which are built. The self-respect of the people. Do you want to have branded houses? Please conclude, we said, sir. Madam, I'm just finding up. We said, no, 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 branding. We should uphold the self-respect of the people. Instead of that, they want to name everything in the name of Prime Minister. Dr. John Ritter's Mananya Sansaji. Thank you very much, madam. <laughs> madam, I am a strong feminist. And I need to get two or three minutes more from you, madam. <laughs> madam, see, a miracle has happened. After the speeches of uh, Raghesh Sinha and others, when I was coming from South Avenue, there is some changes that has happened to the boat club. Instead of water, it is full of honey and milk. A pani shagat ho gaya. Or After 2014, this country has drastically changed, madam. You know that, no? How it has changed. All the indices have been doled out here, and I will not refer to you, sir, madam. But I will specifically come to certain concerns of my state. Madam, the other day I had asked a question to the Honorable Finance Minister as to the borrowing limits of the states. I got an answer from the minister. She said that we are strict on borrowing limits because the 15th Finance Commission has given a recommendation. And I asked her, what is the recommendation? It is like this. Governments at all tiers may observe strict discipline by resisting any further additions to the stock of off-budget transactions. Fine, madam. Perfectly okay. Is not union government a government? Are they not part of the governments which have been referred to by the 15th Finance Commission? They want all the state governments to shed the borrowing of the PSUs or SPVs. When it comes to the central government, just see the National Highway Authority of India. Yes. I asked a question. You know what is the loan debt of NHA? Madam, you would be surprised. 3.4 lakh crore. Yes. There are other agencies also. They want to discipline state governments. What is the total debt of the unit government map? 157 lakh crore. A humongous figure. They are trying to blame the state government, sir. Madam, now, I am coming from Kerala. See, the Kerala social indices are at par with the Western countries. 
what is this economy madam economy is for the society for the people is it just because you want to stack some cash in your house is that economy no the welfare of the people the average lifespan of a malayali is more than 12 years of that a state from rajesh sinha or other state what is the meaning of that we live more than those people who are in the north madam i will just come to another topic madam i want your protection is a very serious matter now the point is that we are we, we are being penalized you know what is the new slogan the prime minister was harping about cooperative federalism is not cooperative federalism madam this is crony federalism you know why see 18% of the population south india we contribute 35% of the gdp we are being penalized for the performance you mop up so much resources through surcharges 7 lakh crore in a year then you bring centrally sponsored scheme which cannot be implemented in state like kerala because we have crossed the threshold you want us to open schools we have already schools there madam please give me you have been liberal to everybody now now what is happening now there is a strange phenomena somebody was talking about selfie corners in higher education institute are modi saab to sabhi jagah pe yaar you want to add everywhere now one more thing madam they are contributing 1/5 for the housing scheme whereas 3/4 is being contributed by state of kerala they want to brand the houses which are built the self respect of the people do you want to have branded houses please conclude we said sir. madam i am just finding up we said no need of branding we should uphold the self respect of the people instead of that they want to name everything in the name of prime minister madam my only submission to you is that the entire the entire credibility of this government rests with the fact that the the slogan you need to have prosperous states instead of fleece in the states you should allow the state governments to have the resources you should make sure that there should be a equitable divisive uh, uh, process that is happening whereby resources are given to the states thank you very much ma'am thank you माननीय सांसद श्री नागेंद्र